Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and to the fourth update to my whole collection product handpan. This was started by Becky Loves Kanga and I will have her information listed in the description box. But basically in this product you have all of your products listed in a spreadsheet and then you randomly pick 10 products to work on at one time and then you either swap out when you hit your goal or when you finish up a product. I know uh, Becky only wants to like finish up her products I have some that I want to hit my goal on but let's just get into my update so I feel like this one is a bit better than my previous months because I feel like I've used almost everything but we will get to that when I show you the product so the first one is the sleek Dermal Delmar volume 2 palette and in this one I am uh, I pulled this yellow one right here I actually haven't used this yellow one uh, at all yet in this project but I am focusing on this shade right here for my Pandos eyeshadows project so I have been using this one quite a bit but not the yellow one yet I think maybe when we get into sort of spring I will use this one more but so far I haven't used this one and then we have the Cow Pop single in the shade Hear Me Out and I am using this almost every day as sort of like a base shade when I set my primer and with this one I like to just sort of dust it on my sort of brow bone and sort of a, a little bit into the crease and then maybe a little bit on my eyelid as well. I don't really care if it gets like really set on my eyelid because this is not my favorite eyeshadow to use to set my primer but I'm going to just keep working on it and my goal with this one is to use this up. Here is like a close-up of what this looks like. Maybe you can see that I have a dip in it but yeah. I'm just gonna keep working on this one. And then we have the other product that I haven't used. This is the Colourpop All I See Is Magic palette. And in this one I am going to use the shade that is called Go Wish. But I haven't used that one at all in this product so far. But this will actually be in my throwing shade product for, uh, for like, yeah, a week. Two weeks from now maybe. And I will have that listed here in the cards if you haven't seen my uh, last update. But so then I will definitely be using it. And then we have the Tarte palette in Make Believe in Yourself. And in this one I got the shade called Trance. So this is sort of like a taupey silver shade. You can see it's really pretty. It's very sort of, or the formula of these eyeshadows are very like sparkly. Uh, and they are very pretty on the eyes. So I am... Uh, I maybe have like a tiny bit of a dip. I have only used it like a few times so there's not like a ton of progress but at least I have used it. I've been very bad with focusing on eyeshadows now at the end of the year because I've already hit my goal of hitting pan on at least 18 eyeshadows. I think I'm at like 20 so I've been very bad with working on eyeshadows now at the end of the year but soon the new year is here and then I'm going to sort of uh, yeah dig my heels in again and sort of start working on them. Then we have the End Cosmetics eyeshadow in lime green. So this is the summer palette. For some updates I've had this as like a single in the C palette and then some updates I've had it in this palette. But this is the summer palette and this is the shade that I drew. I feel like the design is still visible but like here in the E, you, the sort of uh, yeah, the pattern is a bit sort of more flat than it, what it was from the beginning. So I am using it. I will include a picture right here of a look I did with this that I really liked. <laughs> that was really fun. So yeah, I have used it, but I don't have like much progress to show. Okay, and then this one, this is the MAC uh, Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Let Me Pop. And if you remember from my previous updates, I used this, I had used this a few times. And now I have actually used it quite a few times, so I do have like a dip in here. The way I've been using it is that I have been actually, I've actually been pretty lazy as of lately. And in the morning I've just sort of done a very quick makeup and then just gone to work. And when I do that I like to just take my finger and sort of pat this all on my eyelid and then a tiny bit up into the crease and like that's it that's what I will do and I think that's a really really pretty look actually so I'm not like mad at it it's just that I don't I think this will take so long to use up 
and yeah I don't like want to be that lazy and only throw on like a cream shadow uh, in the morning so it's sort of like yes I want to work on this but no I want to do more eyeshadow so we'll see how I do on this one maybe I can like have a goal of using it once or yeah maybe once or twice a week maybe once a week <laughs> but yeah we'll see I will probably use it a bit more like it yeah we'll see I will use this as long as I'm lazy in the morning and then the last product that I drew in the intro is the Makeup Revolution Hot Spice blush palette and in this one I'm working on this shade and I really thought I would be able to hit pan by now but unfortunately not I do have a dip and I feel like I've started seeing the sort of pattern in the blush a bit like F of the pan so hopefully hopefully I will be able to hit pan on it before next time like if I don't I'm gonna go crazy <laughs> because I really think that I will be able to do that before the next time so we'll see I am wearing it today I am wearing it every single day and my goal is to use this up so yeah I just want to like hit pan because then I feel like it will be easier to sort of see progress but I'm gonna continue working on it and then we have one product that I have actually hit my goal on and for that one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette and in this one I pulled this shade called Mercury and here is that one so the way I've been using this and loving it is actually in my brows I am wearing it in my brows today yet I usually use a a deep brow but lately I've just been feeling like that is too harsh in my brows it's just like a I don't know it's it doesn't have much dimension so I started using this in my brows and I really really love it so the only reason I'm like counting my goal hit like there is the the uh, pan is very like characteristic for a eyeshadow or eyebrow powder pan uh, it's very like small and deep but the only reason I'm taking this out of this project and being happy with this goal is because I want to use my deep brow so that that won't dry out. And then when I'm, I feel like I'm done with my deep brow, I would definitely use this up as a brow powder because I think it's really pretty and I would definitely be interested in buying another brow powder in the future. So yeah, I'm going to take this out of the product uh, project and consider this my goal met. And then we have the Sleek Makeup uh, Baby Doll Lipstick. And here is what that one looks like. I'm wearing it today. I, I was wearing like a brighter pink, like a fuchsia pink. I was wearing this one before. And then I sort of took that off. Uh, but there were still like... Uh, I didn't take it completely off so there was still like a fuchsia staining and then I put this on and then I put some gloss on on top of that so that is what I'm wearing on my lip. I, have, I haven't used it as much as I had the previous update but I have used it a few times. The funny thing is that if I show you like if I put it against the paper there is no progress at all like I'm still where I was the last time which is just a tiny bit of progress but I think that is how I've been using it so I think I've been using it more like from the side so like the tip is still as high but the side is sort of different I think that's how I've been using it or how I've been making progress but you won't be able to see that on my sheet of paper so yeah, hopefully I will have some more progress that is actually visible <laughs> until next time. And then the last product that I included in my last update was the uh, Makeup Store Duo Contouring Kit in light. And I got sort of like the highlighting shade. I did use it twice, I think, to highlight my face. And then I used it once as an eyeshadow base. But like I applied it and then I applied my eyeshadow on top and then I would took it off my eye was super duper stained and I don't I, I know those eyeshadow stain but I only had it on for like yeah two minutes and I think that this might have made it stain even worse so then I've been sort of scared to use it as a an eyeshadow base so but please let me know if you have any suggestions on how I should use this product up because I just forget to highlight and I'm just so pale that I feel like I don't need to because I will just sort of bronze the rest of my face or like the perimeters of my face um, and I have sort of thought about maybe using it underneath my uh, foundation just so it's not as like stark but I don't know let me know if you have any suggestions on how I should use this yeah 
I don't know. So that was all the products I'm currently working on. I'm going to count how many eyeshadows I have. I have... Okay, so I still have five eyeshadows in this product. So if I land on an eyeshadow, I won't pick that one. I will just pull a new number. So currently I have 1,376 products in my spreadsheet. And last time I had 1,340. So I have no idea how that... <laughs> how that happened but yeah let's go to a random number generator okay so I'm just going to generate a number 140 so okay that's not an eyeshadow I think but it's at the top of the list it's probably like a base product or something okay so it's a highlighter from the uh, Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia Beverly's um, glow kit so I will get that and then I will show you okay so here we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero glow kit and the, the shade I got in here is the shade glow getter so this is like a golden highlighter it's really pretty it's very intense this is what that one looks like I think this is nice like I already have a dip in here if you can see I had this in one of my product pan roulette collab uh, sort of rounds and I am currently using a or working on a highlighter in uh, the current round of the uh, Pride Pan Roulette collab. And that one is really sort of light and pink and this one is really gold. So this one might have even been too dark for me right now. But I think I can mix this and it will go really nicely with the other highlighter I'm using. So I'm excited to be using that. I am however working on so i am working on this shade right here in the Delmar volume 2 palette and i am actually using this as a face highlighter i am using it today i think it's really pretty so i might just focus in this one first and try and hit pan on this one for my other project and then i will focus on mixing these two and using those as my face highlight so that is my plan so i'm really excited about that product just because i'm already sort of uh, have a, I already have a dip in it because I've had it in another product and then my goal was to hit pan and my goal will be to hit pan in this product as well I think we'll see when I get there but yeah that was everything for this update please give this video a thumbs up if you like this product I really love it I love doing these videos I am really happy that I'm still sort of hitting my streak of hitting one goal each month so I'm really happy about that and yeah, please consider subscribing if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one. Bye!